I'm James Wilde, I'm a consultant here in Unity Recruitment. I've just recently transitioned from the Wellington office up to Auckland about, about eight weeks ago now. Okay, so yeah, the market I look after, so when I was in Wellington, I was, I was predominantly across just dev development testers and architecture. That, that was my bread and butter. Since moving to Auckland, it, it's, I would say 90% the same with that. However, um, I have come across more of your, your products, um, ownership side of things, and even change and release roles, which is, which is new for me, but it's a good opportunity for me actually to learn as well and stuff that I haven't come across. So yeah, it's a bit of, bit of growth stuff there as well, which is awesome. Yeah, look, the market right now is, is crazy. Um, I think I've been in went, uh, or recruitment in New Zealand as a whole for about three to four years now, um, since I moved over to the UK, and I've never seen anything like it in my time since I've been here. Um, it's just, you have to move quick, and even, even permanent stuff as well, you know, the, there was always that old saying that permanent tends to move slow. Well, you can't in today's market. Candidates have got three, four, if not, I mean, we had a role recently that I think he had eight offers on the go, and, and got a, Quite, quite a hefty pay rise in terms of what he was looking for. And, and, and look, I don't see it slowing down either. It, it's just gone mad. Everyone seems to be kicking off um, with their projects at the same time. I think COVID stopped things a little bit. Everyone halted and everyone's obviously kicked off. And, and with, with no one coming to the country, it, it's, a, it's a battle. But, um, but it's, a, look, it's a nice problem to have, right? A year ago, COVID hit, technology went pretty, pretty quiet. A year later, and yeah, it's like a full 180. It's just crazy. But as I said, it's, it's, a, it's a nice problem to have. But it's it's a challenge as well, you know, trying to find these, these candidates and, and, but it's good fun at the same time. From, look, from working in a, in a development space, what I would say is just be full transparent on your CV as well, because you know, there has been times in the past where uh, people put te particular technologies on their CV and you, and you get down into to interviews and it, you know, it gets found out pretty quickly. So what we found from hiring managers is just be really honest and transparent in terms of what you've done, how long you've used certain technologies, and make your CV clear and concise. Sometimes when it gets all jumbled up with 20 pages, if I'm being honest, managers don't look through what you did 10, 15 years ago. They want to know what you've done recently and the recent projects, and I would bullet point those key things out as well. In terms, And I would also say, what you have done, not as a team. Make sure you identify what you have done in that particular thing. That's what hiring managers are gonna be looking for when they ask you those questions. What do employees have to do? Um, move quick. <laughs> you, you have to, if, if you, uh, it's, it's crazy to say this, but you know, we, we, if you're even taking two, three weeks, they, those candidates are gone. So you have to be, and it, look, it's tricky, right? Because obviously, when, especially when you're hiring for permanent, you've got to make sure they're, they're the right fit. But if you, if you don't move quick, um, yeah, you, you're going to be left. And, and so you, I guess you just got to really trust your guts in terms of whether that person feels right for this role or not um, from a team. But, you know, technical can be learned, the skills can be learned, it's, it's the attitude and the attitude of the people that are the right people. So if you get a good feel from someone, um, from an attitude perspective, move quick, because they'll be gone if not. Okay, what should people should be doing right now? Uh, look, obviously we are in such an unknown situation that we, as like I mentioned, not, not seen anything like this before. And it, and it can be a bit, I guess I'm nervous sometimes as well when you're going through this process. You have got multiple offers on the go sometimes and, you, and you've not experienced that before. And um, I feel like those, those are times where you're probably having a little bit of guidance and, and working with someone who's got your best interests at heart um, is, is key. And you know, we, we can navigate, help you navigate through that journey. You know, it's, 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 especially when you've been in places a long time, it can, it can be scary jumping out right into a new exposure. Um, and that can be daunting. And, 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 Sometimes I can put people, put you back a little bit because you're scared about that. But you know, working with us and and you know, using our advice the best way we can, we can guide you. Um, you know, hopefully we can transition on that journey. So I, I would definitely this is this is a perfect time to, to you know reach out to us and, and and you know just give us an opportunity. And look, if nothing comes from it, it's, it's always great to build connections, and you never know later on down the line. So I always say just reach out, catch up for a coffee, and hey, see where it goes from there.